folks, this is Steve from Metroplex Pools. Today we want to make sure that you're not getting uh, misled at all on any other pool that may be installed where we could be cutting cost and uh, we are not going to do that. We know what not to do here. We want to make sure that our product is installed properly and for you to have the best pool experience going in. Most customers don't even know about uh, what type of backfill, uh, what's appropriate plumbing, uh, how, to, how to set your lights in a pool, what type of material to use to, to pull the lights out if they need to be repaired in the future. I'd like to talk to you about plumbing. So Metroplex Pools, for all the years we've been doing pools in the industry, we have used two inch rigid pipe. And that's from the pump to the pool. Now will we get into a, a little bit of flex around the spas, we may loop in a little bit to bring it all equal pressure on six spa jets in a, in a pool spa, but that's it. And it's usually a raised area and it's backfilled properly around there. But the thing about flex is, you know, I don't even, I was talking to a buddy of mine and he didn't even think it was rated for underground. So I couldn't find any two inch flex pipe, but there's thousands of pools built out there with flex pipe. And in my opinion, it's, it's wrong. And it's a lot less expensive. I mean, I can roll four rolls of flex pipe and in about 45 minutes, I have your whole uh, plumbing setup for your pool and then pop up some rigid pipe on the top. You'll never know exactly what we did out there. So we, won't, we don't want you to be uh, misled in any way. Termites like to eat this stuff. I mean, uh, if you don't use long gated fittings, uh, like the fittings back here, this is two inch rigid pipe. If you don't use long gated fittings, then it's gonna slip out and it's gonna cause you problems, leaks down in the future. And the last thing you wanna do is be digging out underneath your pool. So this is a Hayward light. It's the Omni Logic Control Color Logic light. Uh, this is a beautiful setup. These little LEDs, they go fix into the, the wall of the pool. So you'll have your, you know, your pool down here. Your light will be shining out there. Low voltage, great lights. You could just lay this cord down in the gravel if you wanted to and cover it up. But this light's warranty for three years. And it can and will go out. So we want to prepare you uh, for replacing that light. And if you notice, I've got some conduit here. It's one inch. And I'm pulling it through. It's, it's got a little tug to it. But the dirty trick in the business is let's reduce the size of this pipe. And you put a half inch pipe in there as long as the wire fits in there. And then your, you know, your warranty guy comes out and he just yanks this out and calls you and says, uh, your builder you know, inappropriately installed your, your lights. So that you don't want to have that. We don't want to come back to you. So two inch rigid pipe, one inch uh, conduit for your lighting is very important. You know, if you're not seeing this on your pool build or your, your, your builder told you about it, but when they get out there and they're doing something totally different, um, you should make them aware of that. You know, here's a, a little sub pump. This goes with every pool. You know, groundwater is the biggest enemy of all pools. Actually, you know, in concrete pools, you know, groundwater wants to seek that hole where the excavation occurred. And in our business, it's no different. We're gonna dig a hole in your backyard and we're gonna set that nice clean fill down there. We use a, a Oklahoma, beautiful Oklahoma screen sand, which I personally love. I have it on my pool and or a chip stone. Uh, pea stone, you'll see that stuff kind of push out. So I, you know, we, we've never really used it. So it is, there are people using pea stone as well, but I don't think it uh, carries uh, very well. So, you know, you got your, your green pipe back here. This is an eight inch green pipe. And this, this stuff went sky high in pricing as well. But that green pipe is gonna be fixed into the groundwater with slats in the bottom of it. And down below the area where water comes in and after a nice rain, you know, it rains in Texas. When that rain comes in there, we want it to come to the excavated hole and then dissipate slowly under the pool. It's not gonna harm the pool and it's okay to have it there. But the thing is, if you don't have the eight inch pipe, you can't fit a sub pump down there to pump the water out. So you wanna make sure that's done properly as well. You know, and that's something that uh, there's a lot of corners being cut right now. You know, throwing a little pea stone on the floor, kicking your dirt around the pool. That's the wrong kind of moisture for any fiberglass pool. I don't care how wonderful the product is. 
If you don't install it properly, you're going to have problems in the future and your pool guy is going to be gone and you'll never hear from him again. There's no wrong way to do the right thing, folks. And that's what we're going to try to do here. Thank you very much.